Welcome to Confessions. Uh, this is my video blog, or vlog as some people would call it. Um, today, you know, I'm using this as a, you know, social experiment slash documenting my life a little bit more and a little bit more structure too as, you know, technology is advancing dramatically. On this episode, um, I want to talk about bipolar a little bit. You see, I shaved today, which is nice. Uh, and also, I did a, you know, the starts of a podcast today called the YY Screenwriters, where I hope that you know, just becomes something or whatnot. Uh, but today, um, my confession is specifically. You know, I was recently diagnosed with bipolar. I'll get in a future episode about, you know, how traumatic that whole experience was for me. Um, but I want people to understand my realization because um, <clears throat> I've known for a long time. It's the way that I process. Maybe I wasn't, verb I didn't verbalize it properly, but I was pretty spot on with it and also being a high creative and a high intellect um, mental health is definitely a big issue that you deal with uh, back in March uh, dealing with a lot of issues and everything else and you know self-realization I ended up bringing myself to the hospital where stuff went out of hand but I went there for help to get me diagnosed with bipolar or which I knew there was something wrong. And now that uh, I know exactly what it is and everything else, it's nothing that a uh, term that I don't mind throwing around as it was very looked frowned upon or the opportunity of it was very frowned upon in my, uh, my younger years. And this is why I'm doing this video specifically today. So um, <clears throat> what does it mean to have bipolar? What does it mean? What does bipolar mean? Let's take some stigmas out. Um, you know, I'm still kind of new to the situation in detail wise, but I'm, you know, pretty well. Uh, I understand it better than I think most people would actually comprehend. And also I've been self-medicating since I was well, about 21 years old and I'm 28 right now. Where that's itself, you know, it, its own catch-22. But uh, my whole life, you know, I've definitely felt with, felt issues. I used to tell my mom, like, it's hard to explain to people, but I always feel like I'm in a black hole trying to crawl out. But every time I'm crawling and reaching to the light, I always feel like someone's pushing me back in. And it's just not even that they're trying to do it. It's just, it's just happening because of restraints in situations that have been built. But then on top of it all, I also figured out that there's really nothing that I can't do. Uh, I've The way that I learn, the way that I process, I understand that it, it's an operation. And because of that, I've never found anything that I can't do or willing enough to try that I don't succeed at a higher level than expected. Because of that philosophy. And this is all because of my bipolar and the way that I perceive the world. I don't look at the world as a one side. I look at it as, you know, everyone has his unique entities, but also my reaction itself is based off of that, where I am, you know, hesitant and anxious and, you know, sometimes regretful, isolate. I do, there's a lot of things that happen because of the feelings and emotions as being an empath and, you know, understanding. So I have to prepare myself to go out to go out. And being, you know, bipolar and sensing everything that's going around me and understanding it, people just don't grasp what I'm going through and they only can perceive what's on the outside. And this is the hardest thing about dealing with mental issues or mental health in general is so that everyone only perceives what's happening on the outside, but they don't at the same time. It's like, you know, I asked a question today because I was kind of like, I didn't know what was going on and I need clarification specifically. And this is just to help me process so I decided I, I wasn't going to go out. I don't know, but this was my process because I'm asking for information. Information that was supposed to be given given to me via voluntary basis, but I, I you know, push comes to shove. As time's breaking down, I don't have this information that I need to be able to process and go through my 
my rituals uh, is the, the best way to explain it. So I, you know, wrote a Facebook post and people were like, you know, you need to ask. And this got me to thinking too about, you know, a lot of people don't ask either how you're doing. And this is the hardest thing about dealing with bipolar is that when somebody's actually taking the time to see how you're doing and it's not just like that past and they're, they're really getting into your life and getting to know you, that's where connection happens. And that's really probably the best healing part for anything with mental health. And the, the hardest thing for me to even go through, like, I've been out of the hospital after 46 days for now almost six months and I'm finally getting back to a normal perception of life and how to approach life. I am getting over most of my anxiety, driving issues. I'm getting over a lot of things that were placed upon me or pushed upon me. And uh, like the help that I needed that wasn't available at the time either. And we're living in a society where it's just like, you know, you have more people telling you how to feel and telling you how to, how you're going to get better instead of people working with you to get better. And this is where mental health is one of those situations you need people to work with you and help you retrain yourself. Um, In any mental health issue, the brain is an amazing, amazing muscle. And again, it's a muscle. So it can be exercised and trained. So by stating that, you know, we all are a little bipolar. We all have labels that we don't want to accept. We all see ourselves in there. But perception is half the battle, you know. Once we start being a part of someone's life and being there, we understand how other people operate. And we don't have to perceive people operating the way that we want them to. But uh, this is Confessions and this is ph about a little bit more about my bipolar i'll probably hit up more about it and talk about it specifically but uh aloha happy holidays